Over 20 years ago, this series premiered its third season with an explosive investigative report that to this day still has many unanswered questions. From 1932 until 1972, doctors from the United States Public Health Service and later the Centers for Disease Control conducted a medical experiment that equaled the atrocities of Nazi scientists on Jewish victims during World War II. For 40 years, this official agency of the federal government intentionally did not treat syphilitic black men in Tuskegee, Alabama, in order to study the effects of untreated syphilis. Even when penicillin became available in the 40s, it was withheld as a treatment. Now, over a half century later, the circumstances surrounding this flagrant betrayal of public trust stands as a telling example of a breach of faith between a government and its people. With the recent barrage of mysterious viruses appearing in news reports almost daily, one has to ask, why did the government allow the Tuskegee study to happen? Why does the man who uncovered the story say that it not only marked the victims, but also everyone who participated, including the doctors? I'm Tony Brown. I'll be back to answer those questions with the man who broke the story on the Tuskegee experiment. My guest is Mr. Peter J. Buxton, a former United States Public Health Service investigator who is responsible for the Tuskegee experiment being brought to the attention of the American public. Welcome, Mr. Buxton. Thank you, Tony. What was your role in all of this? Give us a, a capsulized historical uh, chronology. What, um, what happened? When did it happen? When did you know what and what did you do? Many years ago, right after college, I got a job with the Public Health Service as an interviewer and investigator. I haven't done this kind of work for 25 years now, but at that time, we were going around trying our damnedest to find people who had syphilis and didn't know it, because if it was a woman, they might give birth to a child and might be deformed or dead. Uh, if it was a man, they might be spreading the disease. There were a lot of problems. and. One day, I heard about the study from an older worker who had been in the public health service longer than I, and he told us about this group of men down in the South who were not being treated, and they had syphilis. And I said, well, th that seemed a little odd. He said, yeah, well, uh, they're doing medical studies on them. Well, all right. But then he told a story of one of these men going insane, which is a problem with untreated syphilis. And this man went into his private doctor's uh, office. Uh, the family actually brought him into a doctor slightly uh, out of the geographical area of Tuskegee. And the doctor took one look, uh, checked the blood test, found the man had syphilis, and immediately treated him with penicillin. Well, what happened next was the local medical society jumped all over that physician and said,